Now it's time for our masterclass, and this is actually a huge masterclass because the student has become <laughs> the master here. <laughs> Ebony Rainford Brent is going to show Charlotte Edwards how to deal with swing bowling. Well, I don't know about teaching you, <laughs> like, I have to be honest. Um, it was something that I noticed today. Obviously, the conditions in in Wellington were the ball was swinging loads, but I I studied you for my whole career because you were so good at it. So I'm going to tell you the basics of what I think when it works well and when it goes wrong. But I really want to. Dig into your mind here, because I know you know this very well. So, look, first of all, let's talk about uh, swing bowling. I want to show you some examples of when it goes really well. What happens is the ball is moving near. Here we'll see an example, Jess Kerr getting the ball to tail right in, and Maya Boucher is so balanced at the crease. Look how stable her head is. She doesn't try and overdo anything. She just hits with the ball, lets it come into that arc, and just goes with it. Here's another example. The ball's getting wider, and what it will do is shape away towards the, uh, the slips. You can see there. And instead of trying to hit too straight, you let it come to you and hit what you call square of the wicket, right behind point. So that's when it's working well, and um, I just wanted to sort of break down what it looks like in simple terms. When you're in your crease, because the ball is moving around, there's a danger your body and your head starts to follow it. And the goal of really good people, and you were so good at this, Lottie, is just keeping the eyes aligned. And even if the ball is shaping away, you don't try and f lose your weight, you try and just keep your weight and then look to play your shot. The same on the leg side, the ball can tail in, and you just want to maintain your eye position and just follow the ball and allow it to come through. Now, it's easier than it said, Lottie. How did you find sort of playing the new ball early on? Yeah, and I think the, the key for me is playing the ball really, really late and mm. not playing the first line that you see because yeah. you know it's going to swing. Um, if you hit the ball late and try and hit as straight as you can. So um, just to break that down, so late is you're seeing the ball under your eyes. Under your eyes. That's, and then you've negated all the swing and you're in a really good position. And as you saw from Maya's position, her head was so still, whereas Heather was slightly moving over and then obviously got that sort of leading edge to, to mid on. OK, so two keys when it goes well, eyes aligned, playing it late, Kate. Yeah, can we have a few examples now of when it goes less well? Yeah, I, look, I knew about this myself when it doesn't go so well, is when your eyes are misaligned. Here you see, again, Crossy is bowling that ball, which is tailing into um, Bates. Now, look at the eye line. Her head is falling over off to that offside, and what it forces, and I'll explain a bit later, is your hands end up trying to compensate and come across. Here's a wicket of Heather Knight, the same sort of thing, balls tailing in, and where these eyes start aligned, by the time she's played the shot, again, look at where that head position is. It's falling to the leg side, and it causes the hands to compensate. So here, that was a wicket, and I'll just sort of break that down as we come into the studio. So what happens is, as your head falls, there's, your body can only do one thing, but try and compensate by coming across. And this is where the hands start to get into trouble and go across. Um, the other as well, the other issue as well, sometimes when it goes wrong, is you start to fish. Because everything is out of line, your body's trying to find balance, you find that your body just tries to compensate. Um, so a few quick things, um, if we've got time, just yeah. how to... Um, just nullify that. You taught me this. I remember watching you play Julian Goswami, Indian's best, swinging it around. I was getting in a world of trouble falling <laughs> over. And you said to me, come out of your crease. What it does is get me closer to the ball. It cuts down on the swing and that allowed me to get on top of it before it moved too much. Uh, but you learned a few other tricks as well, didn't you? Yeah, and, and the second thing, um, probably for how Heather's dismissal, her head went over, is, is actually staying on the, your heels when you're in, in your position. So, and so your sort of, weight's almost yeah, stacked. It, yeah, and so you can't then... Your, it doesn't allow your head to come over to the, to the offside. Okay. So that's something I had to do when I was out of form. Um, but, um, but, yeah, and the other one was obviously advancing down the, the wicket. So you're sort of forcing yourself to balance in that way? Yeah. OK. Perfect. Well, you got some tips. Awesome stuff, From guys. the master. Yeah, of course. And we're going to have a full masterclass from Charlotte Edwards later on in this series. But for now, that is it on today's game.